Welcome to Your Town Prize Home Draw 535. We are at the magnificent 11 Onkara Street in Budrum on the Sunshine Coast. I cannot wait to show you around this home. $2.9 million worth of first prize. Come and check it out. We've got Lizzie as well on the camera today. Really nice low maintenance gardens out the front here, but I'm not gonna talk about them too much because we're going to give you a garden tour very shortly. Shut that door there and we are going to go straight upstairs. So we decided to take you straight to the top. This is your main living space here in this beautiful home and the views are spectacular. Come and check it out. So as soon as you come to this space here, this is your main living area. So you have a powder room just here that services this space. So on this level, we have your main bedroom and we have your indoor outdoor living spaces. So I'm gonna do this section here first and then we'll show you outside. So incredible kitchen, really good size kitchen bench, which gives you four seats underneath it. And we're set up here, so you can imagine if you were having Easter here. I can't believe we're so close to Easter, but we are. So this kitchen is so well appointed. This house actually has four dishwashers. So it is certainly an entertainment home. So here you've got dual ovens, really large uh, induction cooktop, so they're Bosch appliances. Of course, you have an enormous fridge with ice maker. Everything's in that beautiful charcoal and gloss back black to, to marry in with the kitchen. Lots of storage as per usual. A coffee machine for those who must have their coffee. Over here, this is dishwasher number one. We have your bins here dual sink. I love it when you have a dual sink and then you have this tap extension. Just makes it so much easier to cook and clean things up. Microwave is just here. Got nice decent size accessory drawers there. As usual, everything is included. So we've got your cutlery there. Nice little touch from our interior design team there with the bronze cutlery. So in here we have a huge butler's pantry. So some great storage here. And we, as we say, it comes with everything. So in here, you've even got your own little bar accessories. Got your cheese knives there as well, all your pots and pans. To keep things hidden away, we've got your appliances in here, outside of the coffee machine, which can be very important for people. Another sink here, dishwasher number two in the butler's pantry. And they've uh, extended that beautiful splashback detail, which Kate will talk more about. So magnificent kitchen, and it is an incredible view from that kitchen. So you can really see how the kitchen in this house is the hub of the home. Glass uh, here, so you can see out to the front of the house, and then you have um, some beautiful sheer curtains there. The skylights here just really play on that natural light, nice tall ceiling. The light fittings are also beautiful. Very architectural over both the dining room and the kitchen bench. And then dining table for eight internally here. So TV space, Kate will talk a little bit more about the design within uh, these lovely panelings on the wall when she does her interior design piece with you. But yeah, beautiful, comfortable space. And then of course, You've got this absolutely incredible balcony that looks out to that view. Now, the photographs will give you a much greater indication of how close that ocean is. Video will always feels a little bit further away. Lounge space here for just sitting under the fan, enjoying those views and those breezes. And then we've got an outdoor table set up here for six. If you wanted to extend this for some more people, you could just bring two of the chairs from inside and pop it on either end and make this for eight. So you'll see, all the way down here, you'll see this floor to ceiling glass 
which uh, really showcases the view from internally as well. So your main bedroom is at the end, so we're gonna show you that now. It is truly a main suite. And that's another beautiful sculpted light there with skylights going down the stair. It's just a stunning home. So here you go, this is your master suite. Now Kate's gonna spend a lot of time talking to you about the design of this space, but it truly is like a luxury hotel. So we have ducted air conditioning upstairs here and ceiling fans pretty much in every room. So we'll take you through the walk in, walk through robe in a moment, but I just wanted to spend a little bit of time with this. So the detail of this porthole style window that you see here is really one of the features from the outside of the property as well. So just gorgeous to show in the main bathroom. Nice freestanding, big freestanding tub. Got two basins there, lots of storage. We've set that up as well as a little hair and makeup space. Lots of PowerPoints, which is great. You've got your bathroom here, your toilet there with a door on it, so you've got privacy there as well. Absolutely enormous double shower. I'm gonna go in there, it's not wet, so it will be fine. <laughs> Um, so you've got the rain shower on each side and you've got your handheld and I love to have a shelf where you can store pretty much everything uh, you could ever possibly need for your shower. There's always different hair products for different people. So yeah, just an absolutely stunning space. The skylights in here as well, bringing that natural light in and of course that beautiful lighting detail above your freestanding bath. Now this robe is pretty impressive. I could probably even share this robe, it's so large. So there's lots of drawers down the bottom. You've got your perspex clear so that you can see exactly what's in those drawer spaces and then your more solid drawers. So lots of shelving, all the shelving moves so that you can suit what you're trying to contain. You've got your long hanging and then you've got your double hanging on both sides on this side. Quite often this is used for shoes or handbags or whatever you would like to store, but generally that's used for shoes. More long hanging here, and then replicating those drawers and shelving from the other side. This little room here, we've set up as a little bit of a study or a reading space, but certainly uh, if you were sitting there looking at that view, you would uh, probably get a little distracted, but Kate will go through again the other ways that you could possibly use this room. So on the doors here, that also do go out to that balcony space that we were on before, we've got both block out blinds and sheer curtain. And we just wanted to resolve for you a little bit, I know not everybody loves an open bathroom coming into the master, but there's lots of ways that you could resolve that area. You could put a shutter there, or you could put a sheer curtain there, or you could choose to build, build a wall there if that's what you wanted to do. Some people love it, some people not so much. So there's lots of options there to resolve that for you. Now we're going to take you down to the entry space, so the middle living area, which also has the other bedrooms now. So let's go down and check that one out. So level two, this is your entry level as soon as you come in off the street. So as soon as you come in that main door there, which is just behind Lizzie, We've got the garage to this side here, which we'll go into more detail later in our garden tour. And then to the other side of your stairway, we have the media room. So really nice big space. There's block out blinds on those, on those windows there. Really nice lighting detail in the roof that you can see there as well. Huge big lounge space and of course the Easter Bunny there, getting ready for a couple of weeks time. So big TV, lots of storage underneath and you have ducted 
air conditioning and a ceiling fan in here as well. The media room does close off so you can keep sound in and a little bit of darkness if you're watching during the day. So we'll take you around to this side. So nice wall treatment detail there is a little bit of a feature. This is your second living space. There's lots of places that you can escape and spend time on your own if that's what you would like to do. So this is a living space and TV area. Again, ceiling fans and ducted air conditioning, they are everywhere. So another nice size TV here. And we have this outdoor space that you can enjoy overlooking the pool and the view. So on this level, we have the other bedrooms and the study, which this is a serious study, this one. So this bedroom here, all of the bedrooms have walk-in robes, which is incredible. Got a nice leafy outlook out of the window there. And a good size walk-in. So nobody will be arguing over rooms. There's lots of space in all of them. Next bedroom here, they're all beautifully appointed. And then you have your walk-in robe again. It's nice that you can have a self-contained space for the parents uh, or the adults and then everybody else can be contained on this level and they've got their own living space. This is a, an enormous storage area. There, you've no shortage of storage in this home and you've got your electrical hardware in there as well. And of course you can close that off from the rest of the house. This is the Bathroom that services this space here. Nice big freestanding tub. Frosted glass, so no need for window treatments. Heaps of storage underneath that basin there. And again, you've got your uh, dual shower arrangement with your rain and your handheld, and a nice big shelf in there to put your products that you require. The toilet that services this bathroom as a separate room. This study is great because it's got a separate entry. So if you do work from home or if you have your own business, you can actually access the front of the house and go down the side of the house from that space there. And we'll go into a little bit more of that detail when we do the garden tour. And just for good measure, another bedroom. <laughs> this one has a nice outlook onto the front lawn, but of course those block out blinds as well. And the walk-in robe. So there's three bedrooms on this level. We have the master uh, main bedroom at the top floor and then we have the guest retreat and we're going to take you down to that in just a moment. Across here, just on the other side of the entry to the guest suite, we have an enormous laundry, which is great. So we've provided you with some baskets there so you can sort your laundry. There's lots and lots of storage. With your washer dryer, another sink, Nice, good sized, full length broom cupboard. Also has power in there as well if you wanted to set up a ironing board and then an iron. And then off here, we have a drying space. So if you don't want your clothes dry in the dryer, 
you can hang them out in the sun. So before we take you to the separate guest retreat, just show you the control panel on the wall here. So we've got your air conditioning control panel here, as well as your lighting and ceiling fan for this main area here. Okay, guest retreat. And here we are in the guest retreat or separate little apartment or perhaps you could do Airbnb or whatever it is that you want to do with it. So first of all, we'll take you into this space. There is a door that locks this off from the rest of the house. You've got your little laundry here. Great to have a, a sink in there as well. Um, in here we have the bathroom, but we're going to bring you back through that as we go out to the pool. So bring you into the living space here which is gorgeous high ceilings as well down here. You've got your split system air conditioning, which is so beautiful and cool today. It's 26 degrees here on the Sunshine Coast right now. Ceiling fan as well, which is fantastic. You've got a really nice view out into the pool area, which we'll take you out to shortly. A breakfast, lunch, dinner nook here. So we've only put two chairs there, but you could certainly put two more there if you wanted to accommodate more people. So this is the third dishwasher that we were talking about. So there's actually four dishwashers, as I said before, in this home. So again, another nice big sink, exactly the same as the kitchen upstairs in terms of everything you see is part of the price. So you don't have to bring much at all. So you've got your oven, your three burner, well, four, sorry, induction cooktop. Plates in there, lots of storage, again, Fisher and Pikeale fridge. So we'll take you out to this outdoor space. So this is a lovely little sitting space out here as well. Lots of trees. You've got direct access down this way to the pool. And then you can see just up the side here, you've got direct access again up to the front of the house, which is great. And you can see where your wheelie bins are there and we will show you more for the gardens when we do the garden tour. Outdoor power here which is great. Now into the bedroom space. Another split system air conditioner in here. You've got blinds uh, block out on the window there because that morning sun is just gorgeous but not when you're sleeping. And then it takes you through to the walk-in robe. which does also have a door on it, which is excellent. So lots of space here. So you've got your built-in drawers there as well as your hanging. There's full hanging and then two lots of shorter hanging there. Your ensuite bathroom space, nice big shower there as well. So you've got your rain shower and your handheld again. And then still even though it's just a smaller space, you've got uh, lots of storage under there as well. So if we come through here, we'll take you into the outdoor space. As I said, there's a door here to close that off. Under the stairs, we've got a great storage area there. And there's actually some more storage down here. This area takes you back in underneath the garage, but there's just some space for surfboards, kayaks, water sport gear. If you've got lots of uh, pool bits and pieces that you would like, that's a spot to store them out of the way and out of the weather. In this magnificent outdoor area. Go through, Lizzie. First off, I'll show you the powder room. That is a great addition out by the pool. So nobody has to go through your house to use the bathroom. Now check this table out. It's an extension table here. Kitchen sink and storage underneath the outdoor kitchen. This is your fourth dishwasher. Beverage fridge there. A very serious barbecue and a range hood, which is 
excellent to uh, just make sure that you're not smoking people out when you've got a barbecue happening. This lovely lounging space here, so you can have it as though you've been sitting in the pool, but at the same time, you don't necessarily have to be in the pool. You could sit down here at winter time. All the security within this property is massive as well. So there's lots of cameras. So we've got security cameras out here as well. So you can monitor the property if you choose to use it as a beach house or a weekender. This seating space here, you can sit on, sunbake on, whatever works for you. This uh, gate out the side here does actually also go, you can access the side of the house. The gates down are lockable, but you can access the side of the house as well from here. But again, we'll go through a little bit more of that in the garden tour. The fountain is extremely robust when it's turned on full. So we've just got it on a little bit there to show you where the fountain is. You'll be able to see it in its full glory when you look at our video tours. We absolutely love this property. This is a quintessential Your Town Prize home that we know you guys are already loving. So you need to get in and get your tickets as quickly as possible because this one is a hot little number.